thank you for coming back. Uh, I think this video, we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna try some orange enamel, one shot, uh, show you how I load my brush and my technique so far as to putting down lines, maybe try some turns, I'm not sure. But uh, basically I just want to get a straight line, would be awesome. Any kind of little flare or anything like that would be, be neat, but I'm just mainly looking to make a, make a nice line. But anyways, let's get this uh, open and yeah, still, still sounds good. So it's been sitting for years. And Christmas of, probably Christmas of 2013 been sitting so I'm surprised it actually you can actually hear it. anyways we'll give us a good good shake I'll get a little bit on these and I'm using a uh, kind of semi-gloss book or catalog cleared that that Usually it's pretty good for enamel paint. I don't know why, but that's what I heard. I'm not sure if I use this orange yet. That's what the color looks like. Kind of reminds me of a, like a Chevy engine orange or something. I think I got it pretty good now. There's no real big clumps and it's coming off pretty smooth. So what I do is I get, get some dollops that on there. A little more than that, though. Okay, I'll kind of tell y'all down, show you what I'm gonna do. That's my orange and my, my brush. I kept it in motor oil, motor oil, so I had to clean it earlier. But, anyways, this is how I personally they say loading is kind of just dragging around and. Do this. Don't know if it's right, but it's what I saw on YouTube. Anyways, once we got it loaded up, drag it out a little bit. Go over here and make a line. I'll set y'all over here so you get a better look at what I'm trying to do. result you can tell I like doing that a lot but a lot of work needs to be done a lot of lines need to be laid out but this is gonna be one of many I may do this every day it was pretty fun anyways if you made it through that uh, there'll be a lot more of that to come but it's getting cold and my paints getting too tacky and I'll put some a little bit thinner in it and make it make it usable again but it's just getting getting really cold out here so I think I'm gonna call it a night but uh, clean my brush out and I got motor oil and I got another pinstriping brush 
and a lot of dead bugs in there, but we may try the other brush too. But uh, I need to get better with this before I go on to anything else. But anyways, I just kind of clean in some, uh, I believe that's uh, mineral spirits. Get all the enamel out of it. And I got my rag over here to kind of dry it off a little bit before I put it in the oil. But uh, you made it this far, this is what I plan on doing is just practicing. If I get better at it, then maybe try to do some uh, more artistic stuff. So I like to get, you know, symmetric lines, uh, mount shoots, and all this other stuff. But for right now, we're just going to be practicing a lot. Like tomorrow, I'll use my uh, sticker scraper and scrape off all this. And it'll have us a clean new, well, I don't say new, but clean uh, piece of glass to practice on. But uh, yeah, if uh, you want to see how far I can go or anything like that, or if you've pinstripe or or your pinstriper please uh any tips or tricks that you know uh like i said i just want to get better at it that way i can do some pinstriping on the bronco and i got a 65 healy back there that would look pretty neat with some stripes but anyways uh thanks for watching and uh if you want to go on this journey uh please hit that subscribe button It'll be down below and uh Please like and comment. It really does help the channel out. And uh, I hate to see pinstriping and lettering kind of die. Uh, I think it's a true art form, especially lettering, getting everything just right, and and pinstriping too. Uh, and I just like to be be part of it. Like I said. Uh, this will help me get my mind off the Bronco and hopefully develop a skill that I can use later. But I'm just kind of rambling now, so. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.